Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Thursday, June 6th, 2024. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. We begin today with Psalm 62. Psalm 62, for the choir director, according to Jejuthun, a psalm of David. I am at rest in God alone. My salvation comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I will never be shaken. How long will you threaten a man? Will all of you attack as if he were a leaning wall or a tottering fence? They only plan to bring him down from his high position. They take pleasure in lying. They bless with their mouths, but they curse inwardly. Rest in God alone, my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I will not be shaken. My, sal my salvation and glory depend on God, my strong rock. My refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our refuge. Common people are only a vapor. Important people, an illusion. Together on a scale, they weigh less than a vapor. Place no trust in oppression or false hope in robbery. If wealth increases, don't set your heart on it. God has spoken once. I have heard this twice. Strength belongs to God, and faithful love belongs to you, Lord, for you repay each according to his works. We continue reading in Proverbs as Solomon encourages us to place our trust in the Lord and to find happiness in wisdom. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, know him, and he will make your paths straight. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. This will be healing for your body and strengthening for your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first produce of your entire harvest then your barns will be completely filled and your vats will overflow with new wine. Do not despise the Lord's instruction, my son, and do not loathe his discipline. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves, just as a father disciplines the son in whom he delights. Happy is a man who finds wisdom and who acquires understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and her revenue is better than gold. She is more precious than jewels. Nothing you desire can equal her. Long life is in her right hand, in her left riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant, and all her paths peaceful. She is a tree of life to those who embrace her, and those who hold on to her are happy. The Lord founded the earth by wisdom and established the heavens by understanding. By his knowledge, the watery depths broke open, and the clouds dripped with dew. Maintain sound wisdom and discretion. My son, don't lose sight of them. They will be life for you and adornment for your neck. Then you will go safely on your way. Your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. You will lie down, and your sleep will be pleasant. We now have reached the point where Jesus is going to perform that seventh and final sign of his, as John records them for us, as he raises Lazarus from the dead. Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Remove the stone, Jesus said. 
Martha, the dead man's sister, told him, Lord, there is already a stench because he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, didn't I tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they removed the stone. Then Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd standing here, I said this, so that they may believe you sent me. After he said this, he shouted with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, bound hand and foot with linen strips, and with his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unwrap him and let him go. Therefore, many of the Jews who came to Mary and saw what he did believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and were saying, what are we going to do since this man is doing many signs? If you let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our place and our nation. One of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all. You're not considering that it is to your advantage that one man should die for the people rather than the whole nation perish. He did not say this on his own. But being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but also to unite the scattered children of God. So from that day on, they plotted to kill him. Jesus, therefore, no longer walked openly among the Jews, but departed from there to the countryside near the wilderness, to a town called Ephraim, and he stayed there with his disciples. Now the Jewish Passover was near, and many went up to Jerusalem from the country to purify themselves before the Passover. They were looking for Jesus and asking one another as they stood in the temple, What do you think? He won't come to the festival, will he? The chief priests and the Pharisees had given orders that if anyone knew where he was, he should report it so that they could arrest him. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.